Hi. All right. So today is Monday, February 3rd, 2014. And I just wanted to answer one frequently asked question, which is, what is my sexuality? Well, actually, let me fix that. What is my sexual orientation? If someone were to come up to me at a party, say, and just randomly ask me what my sexual orientation was, I might just blurt out, oh, I'm a pansexual, transsexual, because I just think it's cute and it rhymes, and I do mostly identify as pansexual, and although I don't really identify as transsexual, like, I still feel like the term could apply to me, and I'm comfortable with it. So that would be the short answer, and it rhymes, so that's kind of cool. But FAQ videos are not for short answers, so the longer answer is I have never really thought very, 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 very in-depth about my sexual orientation. The first time that I ever remember having a relationship was in middle school where I dated a boy named Bob. This was the kind of relationship where in my AIM profile it said, I heart you, Bob. I'm not even kidding, his name is actually Bob, and he hopefully will never ever see this video. All my friends in middle school, though, were going through what they called an experimentation, where girls were kissing girls, and guys were kissing guys. This is my friend group, right? And they're all just like, let's try it out, let's see how we feel, and adopting all these labels, and then dropping them, and adopting them, and dropping them. And the entire time I was just like, basically just sort of stayed out of it, actually. <laughs> Enter freshman year of high school. I began dating this boy that I actually felt like I really had a strong crush on. And his name was Henry, and he was one of the people I played guitar with, and I just like loved him so much in my freshman year phase. Um, but he ended up being gay, and he came out as gay before I even began transitioning. So I think that that was a sign as to something, and it actually worked out amazingly because we ended up being best friends for pretty much the rest of high school. It was, it was fantastic. Right after Henry, I began dating my first girlfriend towards the end of freshman year of high school. She identified as a lesbian. I didn't. I never came out to anyone, hey, I'm gay, hey, I'm bi, hey, I'm pan. Like, this is my girlfriend. I just never did. I was just, it was just simply, this is my girlfriend. And she helped me realize that within a relationship with a woman, I found out that I identified more as a boy. It just became very clear to me. I didn't feel, that's when I started to feel like it was a hetero sexual relationship, which was weird, and it's hard to articulate, and we're talking nine years ago, so I can't quite relive it, but in in a way, she did help me realize my trans identity, even though she did break up with me when I came out as trans, because she was identifying as lesbian, and that's how it went. But since her, after, after our relationship, which lasted over a year and a half, I dated another girl who identified as queer, um, and she knew I was trans, and everything was fine for about a year. And then I dated Olga, who you guys have seen in some of my past videos, and now I'm dating Anna, who you've seen in some of my past videos and probably just all over my Tumblr and everything. So as you can see, with these past relationships, they've all been with women-identified, female-bodied individuals who range from identifying as lesbian to queer to pansexual to heterosexual. So those are their sexual orientations, and that's not really telling you anything about mine, really. <laughs> I don't know what my attraction is because these relationships have all been a year, three years, two and a half years long as of now. So we're talking the past eight years of my life in three relationships, essentially. So since transitioning and since coming out, I've always had a partner and I've always been attracted to that person and never really taken a step back to think about what in the greater scheme of things, like who am I attracted to? And I... I honestly just I haven't really taken the time to discover that, but I can tell you one thing for certain is that when I did come out as trans, I was probably steadfast in I like women. I probably did not tell anybody like anything other than that. They probably just assumed, okay, now I'm going to be a heterosexual guy. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's what my family probably thinks, and it makes sense. I mean, I've been in all these relationships with women, and I'm happy with that, and it's, it's been fine. Andrea Gibson is one of my favorite poets, and one line of her poem, Andrew, that really always speaks to me is the line that says, I am whatever I am when I am it. And for me, I think what it comes down to is, I love whoever I love when I love them. So right now, I totally love my girlfriend. I adore her to bits and pieces. But there's going to be a time in my life when I'm single, and I'm going to 
need to begin navigating this world of sexual orientation and what that means and everything. When it comes down to it, I like people when I like them. And it's it's an attraction towards femininity to a certain extent, but also towards masculinity in some of my partners. I had that attraction towards this part of them. And it's all these little parts that come together that make me be like, wow, I really want to be with you. So pansexuality for me means just an attraction towards people. Bisexuality, I mean, it means a similar thing, attraction towards men and women. But at the same time, the bi in bisexuality is the same bi that's in binary. And so I just think that pansexuality, which just means open and just spanning everything, it really, it's just, for me, it just rolls off the tongue better. It just feels better. But what it comes down to really is that don't look at me and be like, oh yeah, this guy's pansexual. No, nah, I don't really want a label, but that is the closest label that just encompasses all of what I said, essentially. And I will say, I've absolutely found myself attracted towards gay men, and I've found myself attracted to so many trans women. Oh my god, it was so beautiful. It kills me. Um, as well as to trans men. I've like got bromances up the wazoo, and I could like totally see myself dating one of my trans brothers in the future. I mean, who knows? I just... I love people when I love them, and I'm excited to love a lot of people in my lifetime. So in the end, I've definitely grown. I've definitely grown as I've transitioned. I've definitely gotten more comfortable with myself, and I've really opened my heart, and I'm just open in that way. So I um, just wanted to say basically the only reason why I don't talk about my sexual orientation is because one, I've always been in relationships, and two, I haven't really thought about it. That's what this video is here to say, basically. Alright, so I'll be back with more videos in the future. Thanks for watching.